Oli! Welcome back to my channel. As you can see by this video, I'm going to do again the 50 facts about me tag. And this is going to be for the first time in English. I've already done two in Spanish, so you can check both of them in my channel in previous videos. So in this occasion, I want you to tell me if you understand what I'm saying, because some of you asked me to do one of those videos so you can practice. And I also want to tell you, I want you to tell me which points do you agree with me? I mean, which of those facts do you share with me? Okay? Okay, so let's start. When I'm nervous, I tend to laugh, which is awful. I know, I know that, but when I'm nervous, I have like a nervous laugh, like <laughs> I can't stop. And it's awful. I have been in about 30 countries so far, and I pretend to be in I want I pretend to be in every single country in the world. I know it's hard, but I'm trying to. Next one, I think everyone who watches my blogs knows that I love coffee. I love coffee. I love all kinds of coffee. Just normal coffee with milk. I love cappuccino. I love decaf coffee. I love coffee lungo. Um, I love Starbucks. I know it's so expensive, but I love Starbucks so much. Oh my God. Um, I collect mugs from some of the cities where I have been to and I have my coffees and on toast mugs. I also use them for tea, I have to say, it's not just coffee, but it's mainly coffee. I was born in Huelva, a small town in the southwest of Spain. It's by the beach, by the ocean actually. And it's a very, very small town. But I have lived most of my life in Sevilla. I moved, I mean, I was born in Huelva, but my parents already had a house in Sevilla, so I was born there and like three days after that, I went to Sevilla. And I have lived in Sevilla most of my life until I decided to move away and travel the world. So far, I have lived in Sevilla, in Málaga, in Tenerife, Barcelona, Nápoles, Naples, Dublin, London. That's it. So Sevilla, Málaga, Tenerife, Barcelona, Naples, Dublin, in London, yeah, seven cities. I am 30 years old. <laughs> I know, and it was so hard when I, when like one week before my birthday, when I realized I was going to be 30, I was not going to be in my 20s anymore. Oh my gosh, I did cry a bit, but now I'm fine with it. <laughs> I'm dealing with the situation, but at the beginning it was like a big thing for me. I know age is just a number, but it was a big thing for me, very big thing. I love Netflix. I love, love, love Netflix, especially love Peaky Blinders, Narcos, Farinha, Good Girls. As you can see, I like all of the mafia kind of shows. These are my favorites. I like the US and I like Canada. My favorite place in the US is probably Boston. It's my favorite, my top one. But I also like San Diego and Chicago a lot. When I was little, I used to hate bananas. I just hate, I did hate them until like two years ago and now I love bananas. I have at least one banana every single day because I love them and then they're very good for you. So I have them every day. I never skip breakfast, never ever. Like don't talk to me until I have had breakfast. Like I'm not a nice person before coffee and breakfast, no. I have very bad handwriting. Like if I write something specifically, do it quickly, you won't understand anything. If I had to make something that people need to read, I need to focus and it takes ages, like trying to make every single little clear. Because I write like so fast and I skip letters, and I skip parts of the letters. So, oops. 99% of the time, I paint my nails in light pink, as you can see. This is my favorite colors for nails. I think it's like, you cannot notice if it's something wrong with it. It's, if it's like, you have a little bit wrong, like here. You cannot really see at first sight. If they were like bright red, something like that, you would notice every single imperfection on your nails. Though this color, like light pink or um, French manicure, you cannot really see. So I think it's a perfect color. Very handy. I'm not a big fan of pizza. I know everyone loves pizza. I don't really love pizza. I don't mind having it, but it's not my favorite thing. I'm more into like fries. This would, that would be my favorite junk food meal, rice. I love both 
dogs or cats. Don't make me choose because I cannot. I love both. I think both animals are beautiful and I would love to have one, but I have never had one myself. Um, I have lived in houses where my flatmates had pets, both dogs and cats, but I have never had one myself and I'm dying to have one. I don't mind. I'm happy to have a dog or a cat. I don't mind, but right now I can't. I speak Spanish, English and Italian fluently. I wouldn't mind moving to the US or Canada for a while. Um, it's not the situation now, but I wouldn't mind doing it in like a few years. I actually would like to. Not forever, but for a period of my life. I really want to visit Croatia, Turkey and Chile very soon. Like, I'm very focused on visiting those three, three countries like the next few months. I love Starbucks caramel frappuccino. I do the light version, so if you have the tall, tall version but of caramel frappuccino, it's only 150 calories, which is approved. And it's so tasty, I love it. I have it summer and winter, I love it. Yes, I don't mind, it's cold outside. I have a little sister and she is cat and as well. I brush my teeth at least three times per day. I'm quite obsessed on brushing them because I, I hate the feeling of having food on my feet, on my teeth, if you know what I mean. So I love like the fresh smell, the fresh feeling you have when you have just brushed your teeth. I love it. And it has to be obviously a mint uh, toothpaste. And I like those like strawberry flavors. I, they have to be, for me, it has to be like mint. I became Kevin Crew when I was 27. I used to watch basket games at the pavilions many, many times. I like, I like soccer and basketball, but I was very lucky to be able to go to the stadium to watch basketball games for free. So I went like every two weeks, every time they played, like when I was in Sevilla, when I was in Malaga and in Barcelona here and in Tenerife, I went like every two weeks. I have also been at the stadium watching soccer matches for free a few times. I can say I have good contacts. I work out about five times per day, per day, no, per week, per day, no, per week. Um, sometimes I have, I have full of energy and I have lots of time. I go to the gym and work out for when I went out there. If I cannot, like if I don't have the time or I, can, I don't have access to the gym, I go for a run for like 45, 50 minutes and that's, that's enough. I love doing my makeup. I find that so relaxing, so relaxing. I also love doing my hair, but I have to say that I'm not very good at it. Like, I love washing my hair, putting some hair mask, moisturizing it, but I'm not very good at styling it. I just know how to do like flat, that's it. I love finishing things, like, I love finishing food products, makeup products, creams, I love finishing things as a task. I don't like having things like half, to, like, a product to the half. No, I have to finish it before buying anything else. I'm always reading two or three books at the same time. What can I say? That's me. Always been the same. <laughs> Sometimes, because I'm reading three books and I start reading one, then I stop it and read another one and another one. For example, I usually read like a big book when I'm at home and then I bring two small books on my trips so they don't like, they don't take so much space on my back. And I start one, then finish that and start the next one. And then when I finish those two, came back to the first one because I don't want to I want to finish that book. And maybe it takes me a few weeks to come back to the first book and I have to remind myself what was it about. But I always finish every book that I start. I never let a book like till the middle. I always finish my books. The last book that I have finished was Bridget Jones, Map About the Boy. And now I'm reading uh, Princess of Ice and London, two books. I love cooking. That was not me a few years ago, but right now I love cooking. I make my own bread, which is so good thing, I think. And I make also little cakes. I basically cook a lot of healthy foods, which is good. And I cook gluten-free, low fat, low salt. I consider myself a quite organized person I can always get better, obviously, but I'm quite good at organizing myself. My favorite season is summer. I don't understand people like winter. I don't like winter. I hate winter. I get cold all the time. Like now, I have a cold. That's because it's cold outside. I don't like winter. I'm a very summer person. Maybe that's why I love the beat. I love the beat. 
I prefer One Million Times Beach rather than the mountains. I, I still like the mountains, but I love the beach. And I don't mind swimming pool, but I love the beach. There are so many things I would like to do, so many. And the list is getting bigger and bigger every time. That's a problem, because I want to do all of them. I have two favorite breakfast. One of them is toast of bread that I make myself with a bit of olive oil and salt. That's it. Well, a coffee, obviously. And the other one is porridge with banana and a little tablespoon of peanut butter. Those are my two favorite breakfast. My favorite dinner would be a salad. I love salads. But salads with avocado and smoked salmon and some dried tomatoes. Oh my god. For Lent, I cannot say I have just one favorite, I have so many. I love lentil soup. Since I, since I was little, I love lentil soup. I love meatballs, Spanish omelette as well. I don't know, I have so many. I have a Spanish and Portuguese roots. Most of my roots are Spanish, but I also have Portuguese roots. I don't have any surgery. Everything you see on me is real, everything. I even have my own eyelashes, my own hair. I don't have anything fake. Just a bit of makeup and nail polish, but that's it, finish. I don't like lazy people. I don't like people who are at home every day, every single day, and if they have free time, they just lay on the sofa. I'm not one of those. I'm not. Like, if I'm very tired or if I'm sick, I would stay at home, but I will still try to do something productive, not just watching Netflix. I, I watch Netflix, but just a bit at night or while I'm like cleaning the house, I leave something in the background, but I don't like people who just don't do anything, and they like that. Like, it was your perfect day, not doing anything, no, that's not me. Perfect day for me is like a day full of activities, full of people, and like very active day. That's a, per a perfect day for me. I don't like answer people who complain about everything. I hate that. I think we have to be grateful for what we have and stop complaining about things that we don't have. I love doing face masks. I do them at the hotels, especially when I'm very, very tired at night. I arrive to the hotel, have a shower, put my face mask and relax for 20 minutes, that's perfect. I don't have any tattoos, but I've got one person in my belly. I did it when I was 18. When I became 18, like the day after that, I did my piercing. I used to have a few piercings of my, on my ears, but I don't have them anymore. I just have the, like the two normal ones. Uh, but I just love piercings, but I just, my ears don't tolerate them well, so. I have to remove them. I know this is going to be weird, but I'm not a big fan of cheese. I know everyone loves cheese. Who doesn't love cheese? Me. Love. <laughs> That's so random. But I love penguins. Okay, I love penguins. I find them very funny. I find them. I think they are the funniest animals on earth because the way they, the way they walk, they are like so funny. I don't know. I love them. They are so cute. I love running in the park. I think I wish should do that. Also, if I if there's a lake or something like that, running across the lake, that's so so nice. And I find that very calming. And I have had like my best ideas when I was running. Okay, that's it. That's fifty facts about me. If you like it, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Give me a comment down below. And that's it. Talk to you very soon. Bye.